in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends the word of god welcomes you this morning and as we have gathered in the presence of the lord to spend time with jesus as we express ourselves to jesus during this time as we spend this time sharing with him our joys sorrows difficulties and challenges let us pray for the grace that we may be able to place our faith and trust in the lord that we may allow him to lead us to guide us so that whatever we may do it may be for the common good and most importantly it may be in accordance with his plan for us and therefore let us begin initially by thanking the lord for all that he has done for us right from the time of our birth till now we see that the lord has worked wonders in our lives he has guided us he has protected us most importantly he has given us plenty of opportunities he has given us talents gifts in order to do something good not only for ourselves but also for those around us and therefore we need to thank the lord for providing us with all these talents opportunities similarly the lord has also been merciful and kind to us in various ways he has always helped us in difficult moments and therefore as we begin today's prayer let us begin with this attitude of gratitude thanking the lord for all the things that he has done for us and therefore let us take a few moments of silence let us spend these moments in silence recollecting all the favors that the lord has done for us and let us thank him for all that he does for us it may be some gifts some talents it may be the gift of people in our lives those who have molded us those who have helped us in various ways let us thank the lord for their presence in our lives the lord has given us plenty of opportunities the lord has given us gifts talents abilities Lord we thank you for all this. Lord you have given us the gift of this day. A day to do many things, to complete some works or to make a difference in the lives of others. For all this Lord we thank you. We praise you and we glorify you. Lord we also thank you for allowing us to spend this time with you and therefore lord you have given us good health you have protected us you have always been our guide you have been our refuge for all this lord we thank you we praise you and we glorify you you have woken us up this morning you have kept us in your love at every moment lord your gaze is upon us you love us you protect us and lord we want to praise you thank you and glorify you for being with us for helping us and enabling us to do the right things in life and lord as we spend this time with you we ask you to always be with us to guide our every actions today so that whatever words thoughts and actions that we may do may radiate your love peace joy and mercy to the world around us and my dear friends let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of the lord jesus christ and today we shall meditate and reflect on psalm 34 The psalm begins by saying I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul makes its boast in the Lord let the humble hear and be glad 
O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name forever. Now the context of this psalm is how David is able to escape Abimelech by pretending to be mad. And even though here David pretends to be mad, ultimately he knows that his escape has not come from his own strength or from his own ability to act, but it has been the grace of the Lord. And therefore we see that sometimes we too may get carried away with the things of the world. We may place too much emphasis on materials. We may place too much emphasis on the things that the world offers. And as a result of it, we tend to separate ourselves from the love of God. Today, Psalm invites us that in spite of whatever we do, we still need to place our faith and trust in the Lord. We need to be rooted in the love of God because ultimately everything comes from the Lord. If the Lord does not give us the grace, we will not be able to do these things. If the Lord has not given us the talents and the opportunities, we may not have been able to complete those tasks. And therefore, we need to be grateful to the Lord for all that he has done for us. The psalm continues, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant. So your faces shall never be ashamed. The poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. In a way we see that the Lord will never abandon us. He is always there at our side, guiding us, protecting us, leading us on the right path. And therefore it is important for each and every one of us to make the right decision. It is important for us to see what is happening. It is important for us to appreciate the role of others in our lives. And therefore, ultimately, we need to place our faith and trust in the Lord because He will never lead us. He will never abandon us. He is always there guiding us at every step of the way. The psalm continues, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his holy ones. For those who fear him have no want. And in a way, here we are invited to experience the Lord, to enter into communion with him to spend time in dialogue and therefore prayer becomes a very important aspect of our lives where we are able to dialogue with the Lord, where we are able to share with Him our difficulties, our challenges. It is only then that we truly get nourished by the word of God. The psalm continues, Come, O children, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life? and coverts many days to enjoy good. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. All of us are called to do good and to avoid evil. And for this, we need to make proper choices in life. We need the gift of discernment. We need to analyze what is good and what is bad for us. All of us have been given the gift of free will. We are free to make choices. Nobody forces anything on us. And therefore we need the grace of the Lord to decide what is right for us. And therefore we always need to approach Him. Ask Him to help us and guide us in all the decisions of our lives. Whatever situation we find ourselves in is as a result of some choice that we have made. Not today. Not yesterday, but could be weeks or months before. And therefore, we need to pray and we need to work on this discernment that will help us to prioritize things and take proper decisions in life. The psalm continues. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. 
When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Once again, we have here, those who do good will be saved, whereas those who are wicked, those who are rebellious will perish. And ultimately, as we see, everything comes down to the choice that we make in life. So now, as we have reflected and meditated on this psalm, let us allow this psalm to take root in us and let us spend a few moments in silence, allowing the psalm to take root in us. Let us see what we can learn from this psalm. How can we apply it in our lives? How can we use this psalm to improve ourselves and become better individuals? As we spend these moments in silence, we pray for the grace that we do may be able to place our faith and trust in the Lord and ultimately allow Him to lead us and guide us. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. The Intentions of the Holy Father for the month of March for victims of abuse we pray for those who have suffered harm from members of the church may they find within the church herself a concrete response to their pain and suffering our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
the act of contrition. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me. Christ in the eye that sees me. Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn 
who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors, and one more person to love, and by whom be loved, for your grace, and one more experience of your presence. For your promise to be with us, to be our God, and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany to Mary, the Loreto Litany Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, 
pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us ta of david pray for us ta of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts 
by the power of God thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs>